I've been a part of the Federal Reserve for a long time, more than 28 years, and um, and those labels actually came into play when there wasn't uh, as uh, agreement around an inflation objective. Mm -hmm. There were some members of the committee, and I'm talking decades ago, where um, some members felt um, a higher rate of inflation was appropriate. So those individuals were were uh, dubbed, dubbed as dubbed. as doves, and there were some. Uh, that felt that we needed a lower rate of inflation. In fact, one of my predecessors, Lee Hoskins, uh, uh, was focused on achieving zero inflation, and he was considered a hawk. Um, so there wasn't. Uh, so those titles c came about during that period of time. I think with us establishing an inflation objective of two percent, um, I think we have uh, agreement and a statement by the committee mm -hmm. that two percent is the appropriate level of inflation and so I don't think the the titles of hawks and doves are, are useful when the committee has stated that we have a two percent inflation goal mm -hmm. the um, if if there are titles that uh, people want to use uh, I would I would like to be labeled uh, um, someone who's open-minded <laughs> or or someone who's pragmatic um, you know we've I we've been through some very unusual circumstances. We've had um, a, a lot of uh, unexpected uh, changes in economic circumstances that have required us to think differently about the path, the appropriate path for monetary policy. And so I've tended to feel very comfortable being open-minded uh, and not uh, dogmatic or ideal. Or, or being an ideologue on, on appropriate policy. I've been open-minded to um, changes in policy as economic circumstances have changed. 